I'm gonna try and show you how you can make your Lightroom and post processing faster. Taking a photograph is just the first step in actually creating your image. No, your image doesn't really come into fruition until you post process it and you tweak it. However, sometimes your computer lets you down or the software that you use to do your post processing is a bit slow. I use Lightroom, so I'm going to share a few tips I've done to make sure my Lightroom runs as quickly as possible. I hope you enjoy. The first trick you can do to make sure that Lightroom runs as quick as possible on your machine is quite simple and that's to optimize your catalog. So in your Lightroom window, you go to File. In the Library module, you go to File and Optimize Catalog. This is the first thing. I've done it recently. In fact, I did it yesterday just to check. It can take a few minutes, but if Lightroom is running slow, this is the first thing you can do to make sure it runs quickly. The second thing you can do, uh, which is quite obvious, is to make sure that Lightroom knows to use all of your computer's hardware efficiently. So if you go into preferences, there's, in, there's a tab called performance and in, in performance, it basically allows you to select to use your graphics processor in combination with your computer's main processing unit. This will help Lightroom run a lot faster for you if your graphics card is compatible. Okay, the next option is looking at Lightroom and its cache. Obviously, uh, Lightroom uses a lot of your RAM because it has to process things, it has to keep a lot of things in the temporary memory. When that overflows or if there isn't enough room, it tends to use cache. Cache is temporary RAM used on your hard drive. So we have to look into where it's caching these files and how much you have allotted space to this caching as playing around with this can dramatically improve the efficiency of Lightroom. So if you click on preferences, and then you go to file handling, where before it was performance, we're looking at file handling now. At the bottom, you've got camera raw cache settings. So this is mainly applicable to the develop module and when you're actually editing files. And what you can do, there's two things here you need to do. First of all, the location. Choose a location on the fastest hard drive you have. Now on my laptop, it's a MacBook Pro, I have a solid state drive, so it's super fast. So that's fine, I keep it saved on there. And because it's super fast, it means writing to the hard drive and taking data from the hard drive is faster, which means actually when this cache is used, it's easier to access. Now, the second thing is the maximum size. Originally, this was set to one gigabyte and I just chucked it up to 64. So this means I've allocated 64 gigabytes of space on my internal hard drive just as a temporary cache file for Lightroom. This apparently works very well. And in fact, I've seen an improvement on it I've seen improvement in the speed of my Lightroom. Uh, this is also recommended by Adobe on their troubleshooting website on how you can speed up the processing of Lightroom. So there's two quick tips for you. One, save the location of your cache to the fastest hard drive you have, and two, increase the maximum size. The more temporary space it has to work, the faster your processing will be. The next thing you can actually do um, is really linked to your catalog itself. So I actually keep a catalog of all my images spanning back to uh, so nearly 100,000 images and this spans all the way back to 2008. I have these on separate drives and I have this complete catalog as I call it um, so that I can access any of my photos whenever I want. I have all my raw data on network devices. You can look up a post I did on my storage system. But this means I have a rather large catalog. The larger the catalog, the slower it functions, the more RAM it takes, and the more com computer power is needed. So one option you can have to making sure your Lightroom will run quicker is to make smaller catalogs. And this is quite easy. You can save sections of your catalog by just right clicking and uh, export this folder as a catalog. So any folder you have, any selection of images you can have, you can export as a completely separate catalog. This means whenever you open your other catalogs, which is simple as file open catalog, it will be smaller, which will mean it will probably run a lot faster. It also means if you're doing separate catalogs, you can actually keep all the previews for that catalog in that catalog. That means there's no new generating of previews every time you open each individual catalog. So that's another tip you can use. I don't like it because I don't have so much of an issue of and I have so much of an issue of Lightroom being slow for me, but uh, maybe I will in the future. 
And also, I don't remember what photos I took when, so having an extra hierarchy structure of different catalogs would just be too much for me. But that's another bit of advice. If your Lightroom's running too slow, break up your catalog, maybe break it up into years. So the last bit of advice I'm gonna give you about Lightroom and optimizing it is to do with where you store the catalog and your backup strategy for it. So uh, if you click on Lightroom and catalog settings in the general section, it tells you where your Lightroom catalog is stored. And I actually store my catalog um, in a part of my computer, which is the links up with a program called Copy or Dropbox. It's like Dropbox, but I just use this one because it gave me bigger free storage. Now, by saving it to my Dropbox folder, my copy or my Dropbox folder, having my catalog there, it saves on having to do the backup. So look, I have my backup of, of the catalog to never because every single time I finish with my catalog, it closes, it is already being backed up to copy or, or Dropbox or whatever cloud storage you're using. If you keep your catalog there, you're constantly having it backed up. I hope you found these tips useful. I'm John Rell and I'll catch you again later. Bye bye.